Sunan an Nasai, The Book of Umrah, Lifelong Gift. Footnote Lifelong Gift, a gift given only until the recipient dies, whereupon it reverts to the giver or to whomever is stipulated in the conditions. Chapter on Umrah, a gift given for life, belongs to the heir. Umrah is a form of giving a gift in which a condition of age or the duration life is stipulated. The declaration of this gift is made by the giver of the gift thus I gave you this thing for. Sometimes it is also stated, If you die, it shall come back to me. But since the condition is against the divine law, it is invalid, because a thing which remained with someone for the whole life until his last breath, it would be considered his heritage or legacy, and it would go to his heirs. Besides, it is a gift, and the condition of taking back in the matter of a hiba is unlawful according to the divine law. It was narrated from Zad bin Thabit that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Umrah, a gift given for life, belongs to the heir. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Zad bin Thabit that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Umrah, a gift given for life, belongs to the heir. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Zad bin Thabit that the Prophet, peace be upon him, ruled that Umrah, a gift given for life, belongs to the heir. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Zad bin Thabit that the Prophet, peace be upon him, ruled that Umrah, gift given for life, belongs to the heir. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated that Zad bin Thabit said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever gives a lifelong gift, it belongs to the one to whom he gave it, both during his life and after his death, and do not give things on the basis of rukbah. For whoever is given something on the basis of rukbah, it becomes part of his estate. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Abbas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Umrah is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, Umrah is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Ta'us that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, made Umrah and Rukbah binding. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Chapter on mentioning the different versions of the report of Jabir concerning Umrah, lifelong gift. Malik bin Dinar narrated from Atta from Jabir that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, addressed them one day and said, Umrah is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Abdul Karim narrated from Atta who said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade Umrah and Rukbah. I said, What is Rukbah? He said, When one man says to another, This belongs to you for the rest of your life. But if you do that, it is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments, see number 3736. Shubha said, I heard Katada narrating from Atta from Jabir that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Umrah is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Abdul Malik bin Abi Suleiman narrated from Atta who said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever is given something for the rest of his life, it belongs to him for as long as he lives and after he dies. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Sufyan narrated from Ibn Juraj, from Atta, from Jabir, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Do not give things on the basis of rukbah or umrah. Whoever is given something on the basis of rukbah or umrah, it belongs to his heirs. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Ibn Juraj narrated from Atta, Habib bin Abi Thabit informed us from Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, There is no Umrah and no Rukbah. Whoever is given something on the basis of Umrah or Rukbah, it belongs to him for the rest of his life and after he dies. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Ibn Juraj said, Atta informed me from Habib bin Abi Thabit from Ibn Umar and he did not hear it from him. He said, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, There is no Umrah and no Rukbah. Whoever is given something on the basis of Umrah or Rukbah, it belongs to him for the rest of his life. And after he dies, Atta said, it belongs to the other. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Yazid bin Zayad bin Abi al-Jad narrated from Habib bin Abi Thabit who said, I heard Ibn Umar say, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him forbade Rukbah and said, Whoever is given something on the basis of Rukbah, it belongs to him. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Ibn Juraj said, 
Abu Az-Zubair informed me that he heard Jabir saying, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever is given something on the basis of Umrah, it belongs to him for the rest of his life and after he dies. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Al-Hajjaj bin As-Sawaf narrated from Abu Az-Zubair who said, Jabir said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, O Ansar, hold on to your wealth and do not give it on the basis of Umrah. For whoever gives something on the basis of Umrah, it belongs to the one to whom he gave it on that basis for the rest of his life and after he dies. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Hisham narrated from Abu Az-Zubair from Jabir that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Hold on to your wealth and do not give it on the basis of Umrah. For whoever is given something on the basis of Umrah for the rest of his life, it belongs to him for the rest of his life and after his death. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Khalid narrated from Daud bin Abi Hind from Abu Az-Zubair from Jabir who said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Rukba belongs to the one to whom it is given. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Husham narrated from Daud from Abu Az-Zubair from Jabir who said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Umrah is permissible for the one to whom it is given and Rukba is permissible for the one to whom it is given. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Chapter on mentioning the different reports from Azuri about Umrah, lifelong gift. Al Ozai narrated from Azuri from Urwa from Jabir who said, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Whoever is given something on the basis of Umrah, it belongs to him and to his descendants, and is inherited by those who inherit from him. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. A different chain from Abu Amr al ozai from Ibn Shahab al-Zuhri, from Abu Salama, from Jabir, who said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Umrah, a lifelong gift, belongs to the one to whom it was given. It belongs to him and to his heirs, and is inherited by those among his descendants who inherit from him. This hadith is graded sahih, or authentic. A different chain from al ozai from Az-Zuhri, from Urwa and Abu Salama, from Jabir, who said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Umrah, a lifelong gift, belongs to the one to whom it was given. It belongs to him and to his descendants and is inherited by those who inherit from him. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated from Hisham bin Urwa from his father from Abdullah bin az that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Any man who gives a lifelong gift to another man, it belongs to him, the recipient, and to his descendants and to those who inherit from him. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments, even if he does not state for your children or descendants, even then it would go to his children in inheritance. The previous narrations contain its clarification. Alayth narrated from Ibn Shihab, from Abu Salama bin Abdurrahman from Jabir who said, I heard the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him say, Whoever gives a lifelong gift to a man, it belongs to him and to his heirs. His words, when he gave the gift, put an end to his rights over it, and it belongs to the one to whom it was given on the basis of Umrah and to his heirs. This hadith is graded sahih, or authentic. Malik narrated from Ibn Shihab, from Abu Salama, from Jabir, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Any man who is given a gift on the basis of Umrah, it belongs to him and to his descendants. It belongs to the one to whom he gave it, and it cannot be taken back by the one who gave it, because he has given a gift, and it comes to the heirs of the one to whom it was given. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Shoaib narrated from Azuri, who said, Abu Salama bin Abdurrahman narrated to me, that Jabir told him, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him ruled that whoever gives a lifelong gift to a man, it belongs to him and to his heirs. It belongs to the one to whom it was given on the basis of Umrah. It will be inherited from its recipient according to Allah's injunctions on inheritance and its rights. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Ibn Abi Dhib narrated from Ibn Shihab from Abu Salama from Jabir that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him ruled concerning a person who has been given a lifelong gift, Umrah, that it belongs to him and to his descendants. It is undoubtedly his and it is not permissible for the giver to stipulate any conditions or exceptions. Abu Salama said because he gave it as a gift and thus it is subject to the same ruling as the estate and the condition that it will revert to the giver on the death of recipient has become invalid. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Saleh narrated from Ibn Shihab that Abu Salama informed him from Jabir that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, 
Any man who gives a lifelong gift to another man, it belongs to him, the recipient and his descendants. He said, I have given it to you and to your descendants so long as any of you are still alive. So it belongs to the one to whom it was given, and it cannot revert to the first owner since he has given it as a gift. And as such it becomes subject to the same ruling as the estate. This hadith is graded sahih, or authentic. Yazid bin Abi Habib narrated from Ibn Shahab, from Abu Salama, from Jabir, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, ruled concerning Umrah. When a man gives a gift to another man and his descendants, but stipulates that if something happens to you and your descendants, then it will belong to me and my descendants, it belongs to the one to whom it was given, and to his descendants. This hadith is graded sahih, or authentic. Chapter on mentioning the different reports narrated from Abu Salama by Yahya bin Abi Kathir and Muhammad bin Amr. Hisham said, Yahya bin Abi Kathir narrated to us. He said, Abu Salama bin Abdurrahman narrated to me. He said, I heard Jabir say, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, a lifelong gift belongs to the one to whom it was given. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Abu Ismail said Yahya narrated to us that Abu Salama narrated to him from Jabir bin Abdullah from the Prophet of Allah peace be upon him who said, A lifelong gift belongs to the one to whom it was given. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Ismail narrated from Muhammad from Abu Salama from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, There is no lifelong gift. Whoever is given something as a lifelong gift, it belongs to him. This hadith is graded hasan or good. Muhammad bin Amr said, Abu Salama narrated to us from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Whoever is given something as a lifelong gift, it belongs to him. This hadith is graded hasan or good. Bashir bin Nahik narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet peace be upon him said, A lifelong gift, Umrah, is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. It was narrated that Qatada said, Suleiman bin Hisham asked me about a lifelong gift. I said, Muhammad bin Siri narrated that Shureh said, The Prophet of Allah peace be upon him ruled that a lifelong gift is permissible. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Qatada said, I said, and another bin Anas narrated to me from Bashir bin Nahik from Abu Huraira that the Prophet of Allah peace be upon him said, A lifelong gift is permissible. Qatada said, I said, Al Hassan used to say, a lifelong gift is permissible. Qatada said, Az-Zuhri said, a lifelong gift is when it is stipulated that it is for the one to whom it is given and his descendants. But if his descendants were not mentioned, then the condition is valid and it reverts to the one who gave it. Qatada said, So Ata bin Abi Rabah was asked and he said, Jabir bin Abdullah narrated to me that Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Umrah is permissible. Qatada said, Az-Zuhri said, the Caliphs, Khulafa, did not rule according to this. Atta said, Abdul Malik bin Marwan ruled according to this. Comments. Qatada, may Allah be pleased with him, has narrated all these statements in order to make the understanding of this issue plain. A caliph's not passing verdict according to an authentic narration in no way makes that hadith weak. However, it transpires from these statements that it is a controversial issue. But the fact of the matter is exactly that one which is proved by hadith as has already been described in detail. Chapter on a woman giving a gift without her husband's permission. It was narrated from Amr bin Shu'ayb from his father, from his grandfather, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, It is not permissible for a woman to give a gift from her wealth once her husband has marital authority over her. This is the wording of one of the narrators, Muhammad. This hadith is graded Hassan or good. Comments. It transpires from this hadith that a woman may not give presents from her own wealth also without the permission or approval of her husband. It was narrated from Amr bin Shu'ib from his father that his grandfather said, When the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him conquered Mecca, he stood up to address the people and said in his khutbah, It is not permissible for a woman to give a gift except with her husband's permission. This hadith is graded da'i for weak. It was narrated that Abdurrahman bin Al-Kama at takafi said, The delegation of Taqif came to the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him bringing a gift with them. He said, Is it a gift or charity? If it was a gift, it would be for the sake of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him and to have their needs met. And if it was charity, then it would be in the cause of Allah. They said, It is a gift. So he accepted it from them and sat with them and they asked questions until he prayed Zuhar with Asr. 
This hadith is graded da'i for weak. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I was thinking of not accepting gifts from a Qurashi, an Ansari, a Thakafi, or a Dausi. This hadith is graded sahi, or authentic. Comments The reason for this command was that a Bedouin once made a gift of a camel to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, in return gave him six she-camels, but still he was not pleased. That is why he uttered this statement. It was narrated from Anas that some meat was brought to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he said, What is this? It was said, It was given in charity to Barida. He said, It is charity for her and a gift for us. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments The purpose or objective of this hadith is, A poor person may give a present out of the wealth of charity and it could be accepted by one and all, whether he be rich or poor.